you for coming by and clicking on this video. My name is Loki and today let's talk about the Hermes H Constance belt. I know this belt has been around for decades and is a super iconic piece of Hermes and many of you have been contemplating if you should get this belt as part of your luxury collection. Today I will be giving you my review and comparisons of the two sizes in size 24 and 32 and modeling shots for both of these two sizes. Also, I will be discussing about the newer H-Belt buckle designs currently sold on the market. For those of you new here, I tend to chit chat more about the Hermes brand and the Kellys and Birkins and especially care tips for your bags. So I really do encourage you to join my family and subscribe if this is what you're interested in as well. So a little background information about this Hermes H Constance belt. I have here two sizes which I have owned for a long time and close to 10 years now. Both of them in shiny gold plated hardware in size 24 and 32. I will be discussing about this specific classic iconic piece today just in case it causes a bit of confusion since there are so many types of H belts on the Hermes website now which I will also briefly chit chat about later in this video. As you know, the belt buckle and the leather strap is purchased and selected separately. I have here the 32mm uh, belt buckle which I have selected the reversible strap in um, black and gold leather so the black is in box, box calf and the gold leather is in Epson while the 24mm belt buckle which is the tinier one okay, also comes in a reversible strap which comes in malachite um, in swift leather and blue sapphire in Epson leather so these colors which I have picked are fairly neutral and easy to match most outfits which to get best cost per wear out of it. Back in those days where tiny teeny wasn't the trend, these H belts were popular in the 32mm size which explains why I also purchased the 32mm size first and I wore this belt to death. Then the micro trend came and it was the second belt I purchased which I then grew to love more than the bigger one and I will discuss it later. Sizing wise, the 24mm buckle means the height of the buckle from here, the, the inner bit here to here, okay, of this um, loop where we thread through our leather belt and wow, the 32mm buckle means it is taller um, so if I put two side by side you can see the difference in the 24mm and the 32mm and structure wise it is exactly the same on both belts um, with the metal loop here to thread through your leather strap and the press start here um, to secure your belt so likewise, in the 32mm, um, the 32mm the is measured from here, the inner of this uh, metal loop, to the inner of this metal loop. So that is 32mm, right? Each strap also comes with three pre-punched holes. So... There is three pre-punched holes here but of course if you require customized holes then do let your SA know so they can help you punch a few more holes if required. For me, I got my leather straps in size 68 uh, which is this one and 70cm which is this uh, which is the waist circumference in centimeters. For the strap in 68cm the length uh, of the first hole, this one, to the first hole here is 66 centimeters, and the length from the first one to the last is 
71 centimeters and for the strap in 70 cm I actually did punch another hole in this belt hence you would find four holes on this on this end so ignoring this which I did punch it in myself so these are the original three holes and if we do compare the the size or the length from the first hold to the first one there that is 67.8 centimeters and the length from the first to the last is 72.8 centimeters so I know these sizes are super tiny but I rarely wear pants or jeans so my idea of a belt is to pair it with a flowy dress like this and cinch it in at the waist level uh, and not really for the hips so I guess for those of you thinking about getting this belt my tip would be to know your personal style first and how you would usually dress with the belt before settling on a size. Alright, so I know this is really close up but I, I would rather have you look at it in detail than you know, scratching your head at the end of this video and wondering what I was talking about. So if gold is meant to face up today, then we will thread it through the loop here and there you go. So you can see that it's gone through and now we'll just keep pushing until the start here matches with the hole there and then now we will punch it through okay so as you can tell now we have the gold side the gold buckle which is on the gold end of the leather so this will be facing up and now if we loop the entire belt through and we want to secure it so this is how it, we do it we push it back through the loop there Okay. And then now our choice is to pick whatever hole you want to secure your belt. So say I want to just aim it for the first hole, we will press the press start through. Ta-da! So this is how we secure the belt and this is how it looks on the side view and this is how it looks when you wear it, so when worn. I hope this is quite clear. So these are the mod shots of the two belts. I am rather petite sized and stand at 1.68 meters. The video on the left shows me modeling the 32mm belt, while the one on the right, I am modeling the 24mm belt. These mod shots are for reference and I tend not to advise which size to get, as this, as this is a personal preference and we are all different in height and sizes. Of course, this is not a one-size-fits-all approach, so what works for me may not work effectively for all of you. It is definitely worth to head down to the store to try it out. Look at a few of the interesting new H-belt designs, which I quite like. I will list the many H-designs for your reference on the side, but my favourite of them all is the Panache. From far, it looks like the regular iconic H-belt. But if you scrutinize it, it is in the silhouette of a horse, which is quite classy and subtle. This panache style comes in size 32mm only, but I was hoping if they did it in a 24mm and in shiny gold, and that would be perfect. The next interesting design is the bubbles design, which literally looks like bubbles joined together to form a H. And these come in three, side, three colors, the gold, rose gold, and palladium, in 24mm width. I feel that this design is quite unique and not too loud in its size since the bubbles design is quite attractive in itself. And my last favourite design is the Martelli. This design features the iconic H-belt but with a hammered gold-plated metal giving it a textured look if you scrutinise it up close. I feel that this textured design elevates the sophisticated look and gives a touch of luxury. You will soon find out why I like this muffly surface as compared to the regular shiny H-belt buckle in my next video, which I will discuss the wear and tear of the Hermes Constance belt in shiny gold plated hut. Having shown you almost everything you need to know about the Hermes H-belt and buckle, I will now give my review and comparison 
between the two sizes. No guesses here, but my favourite size is the size 24. Although I do prefer the black and gold of the leather strap for the 32mm, I feel that the shiny buckle is quite flashy and in your face, and comparing the size 24 and 32, um, although there's only an 8mm difference in the width, the buckle is also proportional in length, which means that the size 32mm buckle is 60 centimeters, 60 millimeters, while the size of the 24mm buckle is 47 millimeters. So obviously, size 32 has a larger gold-plated shiny surface, which also means it is more in your face when worn. I prefer very much to dress down these days and tend to gravitate more towards the smaller size 24 so it doesn't take the attention away from the overall outfit. Also, having owned the shiny gold-plated Hermes buckle in both sizes for close to 10 years, I will give my review of the wear and tear of these pieces in the next video. So for any of you who love an honest review before purchasing this belt, do remember to catch the next video, which I will release next week. I thank you for your time again, and I hope you did enjoy this topic and my chit chat today at Life with Loki. Personally, I like listening to reviews before I make a purchase, so I hope this video is helpful for any of you who is considering purchasing this MS Constance belt and buckle. If you enjoy content like this, I encourage you to click on the subscribe button to join my family and hit that bell for first updates when I upload new videos. Take care and goodbye ladies.